Hello everyone. So I got a whole bunch of uh, foundations um, on Makari, my little bundle. So I figured I'd do a full face, see how long uh, they wear. Um, I'll make a separate video for each of them. The first one I'm going to be using is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. And this is what it looks like. And it, it is in 2C1. If I can find my... Okay, there we go. I'm gonna be using the Blendiful. It's stained, but clean. First, I'm going to be going into the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer because my face is oily. Haven't used it yet. There is that. And this is what the foundation looks like on the back of my hand. Okay, I'm gonna try a beauty sponge. Instead, because this is a bit streaky. going to be going into the Lorella Beauty Sponge. I think the sponge worked better than the Blendiful with this foundation. Mm. Looks all right ish. Kinda. Looks alright. I don't usually wear foundations at all, so. I wouldn't really know, but doesn't look terrible so then i am going to go into this elf blotting powder for like a using it as a setting powder or whatnot because why not Okay. 
right now I'm going to go into this Ulta Beauty Matte Bronzer that I got in their little advent calendar thing last year. Now I'm going to go into this Anika Blooming Nude Loose Mineral Blush. Now I'm going to go into this Baked Highlighter by DLS, and it is in Flirt, and it's Dirty Little Secrets Cosmetics is what it is. and go back into the bronzer. to go back into the blotting powder and blend everything in together. I think I went a little overboard with the highlighter on this side, but that's alright. But... This is the final look with the... All the products, and this is how the foundation is looking right now. I will... Um, check back in at the end of the day to see how 
um, the foundation is wearing. Um, but anyways, yep. This is what it looks like. Looks nice. Okay, so see y'all in a little bit. Okay, so this is after video, like right after and after I uh, finished doing my eyeshadow. So this is what the foundation looks like. And again, I'll check in with y'all later and we'll see how it is looking. Okay, so this is what the foundation and such looks like after I went for a walk with my dog Luke to go downtown and eat. I sweat and as you can see with it uh, having gone down my face left streak I do not suggest wearing this when it's hot out although with any foundation it probably wouldn't uh, be that great when it's super fucking hot and if you sweat a lot like I do so yep there this is but I'll keep you posted and uh, yep so see y'all later okay so it's the end of the day now and this is what the foundation is looking like scoot you up wore off a lot on my nose but i'm always touching my nose so that happens a lot and since i don't usually wear foundation i usually don't have a problem with that but this did not hold up to my nose touching But yeah, this is what it looks like. Not terrible, but not great. Like, my nose is really bad. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I actually don't see the line that was going down my face before from when I was sweating, so don't know if it just like magically filled in or not but it's whatever this is what it looks like and now I'm going bye